In this problem, we have two complex numbers, and we have to prove that the conjugate of z times w is equal to the conjugate of z times the conjugate of w. Let's go ahead and go through the proof. So, proof. So, we start the proof by writing down our two complex numbers. So, um, let z and w be complex numbers. So, what does this mean? This means... that we can write them as follows. So z is equal to, say, x1 plus y1 i. And w is equal to x2 plus y2 i. OK, so we have our complex numbers. And in this case, our x1, x2, y1, y2 are real numbers. Okay, these are going to be real numbers. Complex numbers can be written in that form, right? Um, a plus uh, bi. Here I'm just using uh, x and y because we have two of them. Okay, so now we're just going to compute both sides of this equation and just basically show that they're the same. Let's start with the left-hand side. So in order to compute the left-hand side, um, we first have to multiply them. Okay, so um, let's do that. So then zw is equal to, let's see, x1 plus y1i times x2 plus y2i. So let's see, if we multiply these, we can just distribute. So x1 times x2 will just be x1, x2. And then x1 times the last piece here will give us um, x1, y2 i. Then we do this one times this one, so it'll give us uh, y1 x2 i. And then the last one is going to give us uh, plus y1 y2 i squared. Let me just check that. It's a different color here. So x1 times x2, that gives us the first piece. x1 times y2 i gives us the second piece y1i times x2, that's the third piece. And then the last piece is y1, y2, uh, i squared. i squared is negative 1. Let's go ahead and rewrite this as x1, x2. This one's going to become a negative 1 here. So I'm going to put it here, minus y1, y2. Then we can pull out an i uh, from these. So plus i, parentheses, x1, y2, plus y1, x2. So this is ZW, okay? So the real part is this piece here, and this is the imaginary part of the complex number. So now we're just going to take the conjugate. So recall if you have a complex number of the form A plus BI, when you take the conjugate, all you do is you switch the sign in front of the imaginary part. So it's A minus BI. So here, so thus, the conjugate of ZW is going to be parentheses x1, x2, minus y1, y2, minus, and then i, and then we have x1, y2, plus y1, x2. So that would be the conjugate. So now we just have to do the other side. Um, so now we have to look at uh, the conjugate of z times the conjugate of w. So then, then the conjugate of z times the conjugate of w. Well, the conjugate of z is just going to be x1 minus uh, y1i, because z, z has the plus. And the conjugate of w will just be x2 minus um, y2i. As before, uh, we will distribute. So let's see, x1 times x2. That's the first piece. And then uh, x1 times negative y2i, so that'll be minus x1 y2i. And then we'll distribute this piece here, so minus y1 x2i. And then this one times this one, the last ones, ne minus and minus is plus, and then we have that y1, y2, and then the i is being uh, squared. As before, um, we know that uh, i squared is negative 1. So this will become x1, x2. I'll go ahead and put that term next, minus y1, y2. 
And then it looks like we can pull out a minus 1 from these terms here. So minus parentheses x1, y2, plus y1, x2. And then we have our i here. Okay. And oh, look at that. They're exactly the same. Right? So this here is exactly the same as this here. So therefore, the conjugate of ZW is equal to the conjugate of Z times the conjugate of W. And that completes the proof. I hope this video has been helpful.